Hello and welcome back to our HIP New World Order campaign. In our last episode, we finally conquered the last of the Dujur Kingdom of Lithuania here, so we have the whole thing underneath us, and in fact all of it nice and neatly ruled by our grandson here, Grand Duke Lothar. So we are going to grant him independence at some point, but not just yet. We're going to hold on to him for a little while and conquer a few neighboring duchies here so we can continue expanding into some of the kingdoms beside here. Uh, it looks like Novgorod is mostly ruled by nice Catholic rulers. So we probably won't be taking too much of that, but we'll definitely want to uh, get Livonia, for example, and probably Polotsk if we can, or maybe Gallic Falheim. Unfortunately, though, we have a truce with the Grand Duke here, so we won't be able to declare war on him just yet. And unfortunately, we did get this one extraneous duchy, which we didn't want. So we're going to have to grant her independence as soon as she is at peace and we're able to do so. And hope that Poland conquers her back. Speaking of Poland, we also have no longer got our dynasty in charge here. There was a faction and they installed somebody else, but we should be able to reinstall somebody that's related to us at some point. Though, of course, we did just go to war with them, so we have a truce right now. We won't be able to do that just yet. Uh, our plot to kill the Grand Duke over here is not going anywhere, it seems, so we may as well cancel that and see if we can kill the Queen of Poland instead. Seems like we might have a slightly higher chance of doing that. So up to 52 there. And we can bribe a few people, but it doesn't seem like we're going to get over 100. So we'll just leave it at 52. And in the meantime, we probably aren't going to need to go and help Aragon in the war that we've been called into here. Did gain some technology from Papal States. Yeah, it looks like Lombardia is helping out in this war, so definitely no need for our involvement. I guess we'll just go ahead and build some more upgrades in some of our castles then. This one is fully upgraded. A beautiful sight. You need to upgrade some more in this one though. So we'll start on stables. And we're pretty far behind on this one, so let's just do the keep. Here we can do barracks. And we are behind on tech here, but we do have our marshal working on spreading technology, so hopefully that will catch up pretty soon. And here we are again locked out by technology, and here too. Uh, we can build a new holding in here, but it would have to be a temple, so we don't really want to do that. We have all of our holding slots filled in our other counties, so that's fine. We are actually at our domain limit right now anyway, so we couldn't hold another castle even if we could build one. I guess we'll just hold on to this money. Or we could actually use it to build some more retinue. That might be a better idea. We're pretty far below our cap. And why don't we actually build some of our cultural retinue, the richer. It's expensive, but it's probably pretty good. That's 2,000. Bring it up to 3,000 and then we'll maybe build some cheaper ones. Skirmish retinue, why not? Oh, and we're out of money, okay. Well, let's hope that reinforcing this doesn't cost us all of our income. Put us in the negatives. We'll see at the end of the month. It does cost us all of our income, okay. Uh, let's switch to half-speed reinforcement for a while and see if that gets us back into the green.
Oh, and we've lost our husband. How careless of us. It's two husbands we've outlived at this point. We are 80 years old now. So we'll appoint this vassal queen as our new spymaster. We'll send her off to Rome to continue our late husband's work. And I suppose we can get married again. Why not? She's somebody fairly age-appropriate, though. An attractive 46-year-old. I don't know if that's really age-appropriate, but it is towards the top end of the characters that are available. Do we want someone who's attractive or agile, I wonder? Hmm. Let's take an agile husband for reasons that we won't go into. Let's just say we're very strong and healthy for an 80-year-old. Our Duke of Friesland has provided me with proof that some count is viciously slandering me. Yeah, it says count, but technically a Duke-level character. Oh, Utrecht, okay. Well, we know he's very happy with us because we've had our Chancellor parked in his court for a long time, so no need to take any action against him. Probably should move our Chancellor if we have anybody else who could stand to benefit. Everyone's at at least 50, so I don't think we're going to have any problems. I guess we'll work on Bayern. Right, we are married again. Obviously we won't be having any more children, but I suppose it's nice to have someone to keep us company. Ah, and Aragon might actually be having a problem here after all. Though this battle looks close, they have the terrain advantage, and they're making up the numbers advantage. Yeah, they are actually going to win that, probably. Nice work. gets them the victory. So it looks like they just gained this one county. Was that worth it, Aragon? I've noticed that my granddaughter and her sister, the Queen of Finland, are not on the best of terms, a situation I hope to rem remedy. I have invited them both for some quality family time in Bartburg. Family first. Okay, we all had a great time together and I'm sure they like each other better now. Sounds good. You are still involved in your war here. Uh, you were trying to teach the thick-headed peasants of Thuringen how to use siege weapons when one of them dropped a boulder. Uh, he gains the trait wounded. Okay. He's also ill. But he's probably going to die. Maybe not, though. And you have succeeded in converting yet another province. Good news. We'll move him over here. And let's check on our vassal queen here. She is of age now, so we should be able to demand her conversion. And maybe stop this whole Waldensian business. At least within our realm. Yeah, we actually have more ambitions available now. We can pledge peace for 15 years, probably not going to happen. Let's take the ambition to win a war. And we have been called to arms against an Aragonese revolt and also that host invasion. Okay, well, we'll accept. Ooh, that's quite a nasty looking revolt. Lombardia is over here helping though. Oh, maybe it's not as bad as I thought.
Okay, she converts. And our truce with Gallic Volhin has expired. I assume that means the former king has died. So that's good news. We can declare another war against them immediately. So let's take a look at the Dujura kingdoms in this area. We could take some of Ruthenia, but we're not going to really want to expand into the whole kingdom of Ruthenia since a lot of it is owned by a Catholic ruler here. So that's doing just fine. I think we'll probably take part of Gallic Volhin. Uh, there's Polotsk here, but this is largely owned by the Teutonic Order and partly by Vladimir. And there's also Livonia and Novgorod, so I think what we'll do is declare on them for a duchy in this kingdom and on Livonia at the same time for a duchy in their kingdom. Then I think once we have those two we can go ahead and grant independence to Lithuania. So we'll just take whichever is the closest duchy here. Can we move this? The Duchy of Livonia. And for you, we'll take the Duchy of Volin. Okay then. We'll raise the army of Lithuania, which probably is pretty large. Split this in half, and I guess we'll raise a few more troops as well from over here. Send you guys there and also our retinue, and you can head up north. And you can also head over there, okay. You've improved the King of Byron's opinion, that's good news. And Aragon has defeated the host invasion. See how their other war is going, their revolt. And I don't see much of an army from them. Maybe we have a new pope. Uh, we are actually making money, incidentally, so I think we can probably afford to uh, reinforce our retinue at full speed now. Hopefully. Yep, still making nine, okay. That is fine. So Lombardy has been called in here again. Which probably means that we won't need to help them out. Oh, I suppose we could. Ooh, and Hungary is having a revolt. Our granddaughter became a fortune builder, okay. Uh, speaking of granddaughters, we probably should have been paying more attention to the education of our heir's children. I guess they've turned out mostly okay, or at least you're fine, your mind is touched. Oh, we did actually educate him, didn't we? Okay, never mind. Everything is under control. We'll let him rot, but we will go ahead and try to ransom people. See if we can invite anyone else into our plot against Poland. We cannot. Uh, Hungary is calling us in against their revolt. We'll accept. I don't appreciate their holy war down here, but we'll still help them out.
If they need it, of course. They might not. Uh, let's have you not march right through that other army. And go around this way. And we have a new vassal duke who is pretty pleased with me. That's good. And it looks like Hungary is losing a pretty nasty battle there, so we might need to go help him out after all. Let's see, I think we've already raised... No, we haven't raised Byron's army. Okay, that should be plenty. And sure, we'll go ourselves, why not? It'll be a grand adventure. Hopefully we'll be able to catch the revolt army somewhere where it's not mountains. I guess we could bring our new retinue, but it's not really reinforced yet. So I think this army will do just fine. Taking some attrition over here. I guess we'll split this in half. Actually send the larger army, since there is an enemy army parked there. And we'll put some people in charge, including our new husband. Alright, so they are in the plains, and we can even avoid a river crossing. So this looks like a pretty good battle here. Byron's opinion improved more, and the battle has started over here. We crossed a river there, but I think our numbers will make this pretty easy. Okay, we have du jour drift, that's fine. Okay, this battle seems to be basically won at this point, so let's see how this one goes. A new pope again already, okay. Yep, this is turning out to be no problem. We'll follow to here and wipe out the army, hopefully. Meanwhile, Hungary has re-raised about 11k, so if we wipe out the revolt army, they should be able to take the war from here without any further help from us. Yeah, we'll leave the last 900. Hungary can take care of them. And we can divert this army north to help out with our other wars. Still doing fine up here. We're a little over the supply limit, but not too far, so I think we'll just keep it where it is. Oh, we have a new heir. Did our previous heir die? It was... yeah, it was Folkmar, wasn't it? Died a natural death at the age of 53. Wow, okay. So currently our heir is this quick grandson. He's a mastermind theologian. Let's see if we can pick somebody better. Uh, relatively young, preferably. We'll start with the 16-year-olds. Uh, I didn't mean to actually nominate you.
Can I not sort by age there? Okay, here we go. I thought I was sorting by age, but it seems to be doing some sort of weird random order. No, it's fine. Okay, never mind. Um, okay, so we have you, your Midas touched and tall. That's pretty good. Uh, we have this strong 23 year old who I believe we personally educated. Mentor plus 25. I think he's probably going to be our best choice. You have a genius here. Unfortunately, he already holds a county and doesn't have a great education. Okay, we'll go for D Twin and see how people vote. Yep, everyone is happy to go along with our choice, so that is good. We should also get him married, of course. Uh, let's see, we'll invite him to court. No? What do you mean, no? Alright, well, I guess the only marriage we could offer then is with somebody in our court, but yeah, we don't really have anyone appropriate. Okay. Maybe if we give him a gift, he'll want to come and visit. Nope. Well, never mind then. We'll just have to get him married once we inherit as him, which probably won't be too long now, now that we're 81 years old. But anyway, we're just about out of time for this episode, so we'll have to leave it here for now and continue our wars next time. Thanks for watching, and join me again then.